If you thought his answer about the low block was unsatisfying, we'll get a load of what we're going to talk about next. Yeah. Cassius Here's three Marsh more points. Right. with a pivotal sack of Ben Roethlisberger in the fourth quarter. Key moment, emotional game. Steelers clinging to a three-point lead with three minutes and 34 seconds left. There's the sack. There's Cassius March. The big kick, the stand. Then, then this is where... In, in, you know, the get off my lawn crowd, John Mara and company would say he crossed the line when he when he went over to the bench and and said something to the bench and or the punter. He didn't say anything. That's, His mouth didn't well, move. You could the, see it. The, well, but it's the it's that demeanor. Yeah, it's the in your it, look. Look, I'm not defending it. I know. I'm just saying. Yeah, I get that if They're going to set up this ridiculous standard that tries to unplug the human heart from the human moment in a very inherently physical and demanding sport. If you're going to try to deprogram humanity, if you want these guys to be robots, if that's the rule you want, then yes, he violated it. So the, 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 the better question is, and this is the way Brandon Staley, the Chargers head coach, articulated it a few weeks back. You are trying to take emotion out of an inherently emotional game. And I think ultimately you are trying to strip the humanity from the human beings who play it. And it's a step toward this idea that they are automatons. They're robots. It doesn't work that way. You can't expect them to go out there and give what they give to the game and have a moment like that. It validates all the effort, all the training, all the study, all the sacrifice. You're in a big moment. You make a big play for your team. And we don't know what the backstory is. We don't know what Steelers players may have been saying to that guy. He all played night in long Pittsburgh in the for a minute. So yeah. you look it over and there you, going, look and, what I did. You're going, yeah, you could have had me, baby. Right. That's you could have had me. Again. I, that, it's you a, can't unplug. You can't unplug the human heart from the human body. And I don't know why they're trying to do it. And look. I spent time trying to get people to understand what they're doing. Not defending it, but like, look, folks, it's not taking away celebrations. You can still celebrate. The swing kick he did is fine. He crossed the line as far as the NFL is concerned when he glared at the sideline. But I think it's fair to now start asking, why in the hell do you not? What's wrong with what he did? Why is that on the wrong side of the line? Again, that's where it's like common sense. Does anybody have it that's a referee anymore? No, no. But Chris, I'm going to disagree with you. I think Kareni called it the way they're telling him to call it. That's not. The it, we is, we why talked in about the hell. Do they want it? Uh, it the, to me, the, that 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 is that is not the way it was explained to me, or when we went in our NFL meetings, it was in your face like celebration taunting of a guy who just got tackled it was that it wasn't i'm 35 yards from the sideline how do they know he wasn't looking at his mom in the second row how do they know how does does tony know no. tony was behind him also what i want to know is i think it's a little fishy that tony threw the flag hang after on, he got bumped on, by cassius on, i know we want we'll yeah, get to that we'll get to that because there's a lot there's a lot to unpack there's a lot. there that rule was not intended for that i'm all for letter of the law that's not how it was explained to us by the NFL. That they're I wrong. I think that there. they did mention that. I think they meant it taunting the bench. I oh think my they did. god! Okay, I if he's at did. the bench and he's over by the bench, he was by the hash marks. That, that to me is difference. Again, that's where Here's, I just go to like, there, there's, there's, there's got to be a little more common sense here with that. I, I mean, you're but, right. Probably to the letter of the law, he's not wrong. I understand that, but I think if you got all the owners in the room and all the coaches that are in the committee, they'd go. That's not what we really wanted. At the bench, we mean like he caught a pass for a first down, and he gets up and he spins the ball and he yells something to the bench. That's what they meant by the bench. They didn't mean doing that and going, oh, my gosh, that's horrible. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's where you cross the line of everything you say. You're right. You're totally taking emotion out of it if you're going to do that. Two points. One, yeah. Tony Carini was damn sure he was throwing that flag, and we'll get to that exchange in a second, which tells me that that's what he's been told by the people who supervise him, that that's what they're looking for. And here's his answer when he was asked by the pool, pool reporter last night, what did you see after the sack by Chicago's Cassius Marsh in the fourth quarter that led to the taunting penalty being called? Said Carenti, first of all, keep in mind that taunting is a point of emphasis this year. And with that said, I saw the player after he made a big play 
run toward the bench area of the Pittsburgh Steelers and posture in such a way that I felt he was taunting him. I mean, there's a lot of assumptions that go into that conclusion. And like you said, for all we know, Mama Marsh was sitting in the front row. Oh, look at me, Mom. I mean, I didn't know. Look at what I did on national TV in a big moment for my team going against a team that once had me and got rid of me. But, but, but. The other side of that is, God, what was the other point? There was another good point I was going to make, and I lost it. Oh. I just completely lost it. I had two points to make. It usually happens to me. And I lost the other one, and it'll come what back. What was it, the bumping of the referee after that? No, or? no, no. That's no? separate. That's separate. There was something in the moment of the taunting foul that beyond beyond the actual, you know, what do you? it'll come back to me. Yeah. I'm not going to yeah. talk my way into it. Let's watch it again and maybe it'll come back to me. Because we see Marsh make the sack. We see Marsh have his moment, do the thing that that guys get paid for. Yeah, do your kick. That's great. Uh, He's and, by and the I, hash he mark. Just, he didn't, did he run? He didn't run. No. He didn't run to the he bench. He took three steps. He took three steps. Right. He's way, now, that, that's, it's a horrible uh, call. It doesn't get any worse I really wish I remember my other point because you know what? There's a chance it was the best point I was ever going to well, make. You'll remember a microphone it in a second. In I'm, I'm glad it's happening to there you. There is a chance it me. could have been the best point. Let's hear from Cassius Marsh with the best point that he made after <laughs> everything transpired. I think that, uh, that that one was just, uh, bad timing. Um, it was, I think... It's pretty clear to everybody who saw it that I wasn't taunting. And, um, like, you know, I've been doing the celebration my whole career, and, uh, you know, it's just sad to see stuff like that happen in a close game like that. Um, it's just rough, man. I don't, I don't want to say too much because y'all know how it is, but on my way to the sideline, I got hip-checked by the ref and it's it's pretty clear um if i were to do that to a ref or even touch the ref you know we get kicked out of the game and possibly suspended and fined so i just think that that was incredibly inappropriate it's it's upsetting you know uh, i just think that it's uh um i think that it's unfair that you know they that he has the uh he has the ability to do that with no consequence. So. Cassius Marsh is absolutely right. Now, there may be a consequence. I remember a time a couple of years ago there were some officials suspended for different mistakes, sufficiently egregious. I'm going to have to research that and remember yeah, what it was no, for. Yeah, I think I remember. However, yeah. before I forget for the second time, yeah, my other on, point was this. And you know what? It's not – It's not, thank you. <laughs> it's not the best point that I was ever going to make. I was just trying to, like, start the lawnmower. That what we saw last night with the questionable taunting, the explanation from Tony Carini, he ran toward the bench area. We never there was no running. No. You know, I mean there's none. There's this none. is the kind of subjectivity that is baked into the rules that opens the door for the fix to be in. And I will, I'll fight you. If you say the NFL fixes games, because frankly, I don't think they're sufficiently competent to pull it off. No, apparent, no, right? definitely not. No, they're not competent enough Somebody to pull be off talking. a fix. Right, right, exactly. They'd have to. There would have. There would be more bodies floating in the East River than there already are. From the, <laughs> you know, How dare you disrespect the New York City area like or, that? Or the Hudson? Well, I don't know where. They, <laughs> oh, now you're gonna go they, over there? You're gonna involve New Jersey, huh? Well, I All thought. Right. You know what? They, 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 I, they grind them up. They grind them up in a meat market. In oh, now you're gonna be over there. What are you? You're, you're racist against the tri-state area now. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> so, um, so anyway, and it's not that the fix is in. Stuff like that allows people to say the fix is in. And, That's right. And it's hard to respond to it when it happens the way it happened last night, especially when the icing on the cake is Tony Carrenti doing a little, I'm, I'm, I'm going to fall down here, doing this. What's this? Throwing the hip out when Cassius Marsh is running by. What's he trying to do? Draw a charge? What was that? Let's watch that again. We've been Uh, saving it for now. What in the hell is Tony Carrenti doing? Did did he think Cassius Marsh was going to invade his space? He hadn't even thrown the flag yet, so Marsh had no No reason to be upset. No running to this point. Did a spin kick 
and took three steps. Nothing. He still. Why didn't he throw the flag here, already? Here, look, see. But, but watch this. Watch. Can we freeze it? Oh! Can I we don't, go back listen, to that? I don't buy watch, it. With watch, Tony watch, wait, wait, either. watch. They I had don't a dance back it. in the seventies called the bump. I don't. He's buy doing the it. bump. I don't buy any of it. I don't buy his answer. Yeah, I'm calling him a liar. I don't really care. I don't buy it. I've seen Tony Carrenti get personal with people on the field before. I've experienced it. I've seen it. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I don't mean to go after the guy, but I'm going after the guy. No, it's, hey, hey, yeah, I've seen it. I witnessed it accountable. personal. I witnessed it personally. How? Give me the story. Well, tell me, tell me, tell me. I got, tell a, me. I got, tell me I more, got hit late more. in a San Francisco game, like late, like through the ball. I'm taking like four steps and I'm looking up in the stands and all of a sudden I get like, like cracked in the ear hole and I get up and I'm like, that was a late hit. And I might've said the F word too. And then it was a third oh, down. Might have. Yeah, <laughs> might you know have. I did. So then <laughs> I run off the field. Usually, like, when you come back from commercial breaks and there's stoppage time, the referee kind of gives the quarterback a warning. Like, hey, call your play. I'm about to blow the whistle. Right? I, I, he, he won't, he's not doing anything to me. I, I'm not, and now, so it's like now we've gone through three commercial breaks, a quarter break, and he just blowing the whistle while I'm like, we're all kind of just standing around, like waiting for things to go. And he's starting the clock. So finally I go, are, are you going to warn me before you, you know, start the clock again? I mean, usually that's, that's protocol. And he goes, are you going to apologize to what you said to me earlier? And I wanted to, I, I mean, I wanted to lose my crap. And after the game, I wanted to call him out. If we won, I probably would have, because it just showed me he got personal. He's going to, he was going to take the game into his own hands there. That, to me, he could say whatever he wants. He should have thrown the flag five seconds before that if he really thought it was taunting. To me, there was something else that went in there that he didn't like either. I don't know what it was. It was a pitiful call. It was a pitifully officiated football game. I don't know. Yeah, and Brian Greasy also said he had had interactions unspecified with Tony Carrenti. So That's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. They, they are the ones who yeah. are supposed to be the robots. Right. They want the players to be right. the robots. The officials definitely are supposed to be robots. Uh-huh. It's, that's to me, that, that bothers me. And, again, if you start to hear more stories like that, you know, to your point, where now players and ex-players are going, hey, he got personal. Like, it bothered him. And – you're going to have more of the fixes in. Oh, I mean, it just, it, it's just, it, to me, totally unacceptable. Uh, a lot of calls during that game. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't even, I didn't mean to go personal on the guy, but it just, no, it's it fine. No, out. no, listen, yeah. listen, they need to be held accountable. And if that's an interaction that you genuinely had with Tony Carrenti, it's relevant to this point that that's an experience, a personal experience that overlaps with what we're dealing with here, where a guy, and that's the irony of it, and I think we're using the term right, I never quite know. The irony is that they're trying to strip the emotion out of the players when the game that they're playing is inherently emotional, and the officials who should be emotionless robots have whatever it is, vendetta, chip on their shoulder, you know, I'll show you. Is I don't know what he was trying to do, swinging his ass in the direction of Cassius Marsh. I've never seen that before. I, I have never seen it either. I've never. And listen, I, I could also speak to, you know, the Gene Steratores of the world and those guys where, yeah, I mean, Ed Hockley might have been a heated moment of the game and I might have sworn at them too. But they might they gave me a look like you're crazy. And then that was it. It was that I never felt like it was personal. You know, and then later on, he might have that, that referee might explain to me like, to, you know, especially uh, uh, Gene territory. He might, you know, explain to me why he didn't call that penalty that I mother F them about a few minutes before there. You know, I mean, so the, 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 there's there's got to be a little bit of a trust there between the players, the refs. And yeah, to me, there was uh, some issues last night with the refing for sure. And it, a lot of it went back to the one guy. It was him making the call or not making some calls at times where I just shook my head. Well, uh, we're going to take a closer look at, at all of this stuff. Um, I'm going to go back like and see when. Of, down. I, I, and, and, we, and here, here it is. Hugo Cruz in 2018, a referee was fired midseason in the Super Bowl era. He drew criticism for a missed false start in the Chargers victory over the Browns in week six, failed to throw a flag on – L.A. tackle Russell Okung prior to a Chargers touchdown. The blown call against L.A. did not determine Cruz's firing. 
according to ESPN's Kevin Seifert. Rather, Cruz was fired for not maintaining a high level of performance over a sustained period. But I, th- that's a firing of an official during a season who just they're saying the guy isn't getting it done. There have been incidents where there's been some sort of a suspension. There's been something that's happened because of an incident. I just I can't remember the specifics, but I'll go back and research it. Maybe I'll write something about it, PFT. But I can't remember a time where we saw what we saw last night. And I didn't notice it in real time. I, it it happened so fast, and and he was asked about it, and of course, let, let me let's let's put a bow on this. Karini was asked, there appears to have been some contact between you and the player in question. Did that contribute to the penalty being called? No, not at all. I didn't judge that as anything that I dealt with. Well, yeah, you initiated the contact. The video showed you had brief contact with the player, and then you threw the flag. So that had nothing to do with the penalty being called. That had nothing to do with it. It was the taunting aspect. And you know what? It's entirely possible that the the reporter missed the the hip check too that it was just cuz at first it looked like marsh was just close to Kareni and accidentally brushed into him but it was Kareni seeing somebody coming toward his space maybe thinking that was disrespectful to mesh with your point you're disrespecting me I know I'm going to need an apology for this. And in the meantime, let's make sure that everyone knows you've invaded my space. Let's make sure there's some contact Just when odd. you go by me. And maybe, yeah. maybe they'll fine you uh-huh. for making contact with me. I, I don't know. But, I mean, yeah. That, that, I mean, those are the thoughts that kind of percolated through my tiny, small brain. But, yes, that's what I was thinking there, too. And it's just, yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. And, you know, we've, already, we've, we've spotted. Again, it doesn't mean the outcome would have been different. I'm not trying to say that. But we've spotted at least seven points here to talk about where the referees influence the game. And uh, I think that's always disappointing. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.